Welcome to Inspirational Journeys, everyone. My name is Ann Harrison, and today is Monday, October 26th, and this is the final week of NaNoWriMo's Preptober. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we're going to cheer for that. We're about, um, I don't know about anybody else, but I am ready to kick off NaNoWriMo and get started writing this draft. Rewriting um, what used to be known as InterVision, which was a, originally a short read, which is now called The Body in the Dorm Advisor's Office. So, yes, I do have a title, and I now know where my story is going because I have my victim, I have a, a two or three chapter buildup, which some people may not like, some people do, with the accident and how my main character lost her sight and how she adjusts and goes into a, vision, into a center for the visually impaired, you know, a vocational center to learn how to live independently and all that good stuff. Um, so, but I have my inciting incident. And I know who the, the character who's going to get killed off. And <laughs> I actually killed off one character from the original, which I killed her off without actually doing it in the story. Because she's not even going to appear in this one. So, um, And I know I'm giving a lot of teasers, but I've got to figure out, you know, how to get through the middle, right through the whole thing. So I can't tell you too much yet. But anyway, I have my killer. And I have my... Well, I have my inciting incident, the victim, and I now have my killer, who is definitely not who you expect it to be. So I, and I have done a lot of plotting in my questions and plot points for InterVision Journal. I'm not going to change the name of that because that's just something I see. And I did write some chapters that I had to end up dumping into my dump scenes, into my junk journal, which is my, which is my dump scenes file, among other things. I had to dump them because they weren't working, but sometimes you have to flesh that out. So, if you don't have the title for your project, don't know what project you're going to do, but you already signed up for NaNoWriMo, go ahead and put it, title it as Untitled, or put it as My Nano Project, or New Draft. I don't care what you do, what you title it, just put a, a, a fake title or just a general title as a placeholder. That would be what I would suggest that you do so that you have your project ready and you can update your word count. You can go and edit the project later. Uh, my friend Jen Lowry, she actually came up with three different, she had to change her project three different times because of the fact that the one she was going to do, she ended up doing way before NaNoWriMo, the edits, and then she started reading her ghoul school series and you know her ghoul school book and decided to work on that now will the project change again? and well she's going to do book two uh called countdown to christmas from a magical the second the sequel to the a magical christmas wedding and i'm dropping names because i've actually read her a magical christmas wedding and some of her other books but anyway she was gonna do that and then she ended up deciding to do the ghoul school series i'm just using that as an example so if your project changes over time that's okay don't worry about it. It's just you start with something so that you can put your word count down and then you can change your title, which I need to go back and do myself. So you meaning me, I am preaching to the choir here. <laughs> yep, I am. But I am so excited. I have rewritten, um, a re rewritten and added some things to the prologue. And I have... Um, rewritten chapter one and most of chapter two I've got to finish two and then I'll start you know chapter three either start working on that this evening with another friend of mine who I'm going to join her right in on YouTube or if she wants me to come on to her thing and be a part of her stream I will certainly be able to do that um, we will work together on that I may do some brainstorming may do some writing I don't know but and I may do some streams um, during NaNoWriMo. I'm not sure yet. I have, I still need to pray about that. So you guys pray for me. If you'd like me to do some streams, please leave a comment or, you know, send me a voice message or email me or connect with me on social media. All my contact information, all my stuff is in the show notes. And now I am so ready to start that um, race against the clock because I love writing sprints. It pushes me forward. And I especially love doing it during edits. But the reason I'm wondering about streaming is because sometimes I like to use music when I'm sprinting. And the only way I could do that is to mute my microphone. So y'all just pray for me on that one. 
uh, but I am going to join some write-ins with my friends. I am also going to join um, a few write-ins with my region, my Macon, um, what is it? USA, Macon, Georgia, Georgia Macon region, um, because Macon, Georgia is like an hour and a half from me. I wasn't able to get to the write-ins due to transportation stuff the previous years. But now that we're doing virtual write-ins, I get to join and meet people in my region. And I get to also do some writing with the, the WWJs, my, my friend and writing coach, Jen Lowry, um, Tish Bouvier, and some other YouTubers that I follow. So, and I'll probably do some Twitter sprints too, um, following at Writing Sprinter, which is, I will spell it K-I-I-N-G-O, Kyingo Writing Sprints. If I pronounce that wrong and you're watching or listening, please know that I do apologize for that. Now, my self-care. I have snacks. I have my beverages. I have coffee in the mornings, which I'm not really a morning person, but who knows what my schedule is going to look like this month, especially with my writing, my professional writing as well as my novel writing. So that's not going to slow me down. I'm just saying sometimes my schedule becomes really weird in November, um, especially with Thanksgiving <laughs> coming up. So anyway, but I have some pre-Halloween candy. My daughter was here this weekend. I got her some, got some candy for both of us to share to have our own little miniature Halloween slash paint party. Um, I did the paint party with the WWJs on Friday. If you go to Jen Lowry Writes Everyday Mom Challenge on YouTube, you will be able to see the paint party. I was not painting. I was sitting talking, but we did get, you know, some chocolate. So I have a little, so... In moderation, I will be noshing on a little bit of chocolate between writing sessions. <laughs> Not late at night, though, because my stomach won't thank me for it. But anyway, just a word to the wise. Know your limits. <laughs> Believe me, I do. But anyway, I have my snacks. I have crackers and, and goldfish and things like that, too, that I can munch on when I if I don't want candy. And I have my peppermint tea for cool winter nights or... It's cold rainy days, which it hasn't been really cold lately. So the weather's been kind of crazy, which makes my writing schedule and moods kind of crazy too. And I have my wax warmer over there. I don't know if you can see it in my background. I will move to the side for a second. So maybe you can get a look or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but it, it's got, it's a little light. This one's made of metal. Um, those some you can get made of not really ceramic or glass, but it's a different type of, I don't want to say porcelain, but it's kind of smooth like that. And some you can get that sit where the little tray, it's not really, it's not completely rounded on the bottom, but it has this tray that sits on top of it. This one has a light with a rack on top and the tray is rounded on the bottom. If it wasn't turned on, I would actually show you the tray, but um, I don't want to take a chance on burning myself trying to get it off but it this one has cotton candy scent um you can get all kinds of scents for those and for me because I can't see the candle that when it when I light it it's my candle I I have light perception in my left eye but this is my candle it adds a little atmosphere to the room and it makes the house smell good so the scent the, depending on what scent I use it could inspire me to write too as long as well as my music with my Echo Dot over here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to lift it off the printer though, because I've showed it, I've shown it to people before. And my Hariba, which you've seen before, and my singing bowl. Hold on. Let me get that down. My singing bowl, I can play and meditate and get inspiration from that. Um, if you didn't see it very well, let me know and turn it, and I will do another video where I'm actually showing you what that looks like so anyway and that and then um of course my wind chimes outside if it's warm enough I'll sit out there and brainstorm um and I can do exercise read books listen to podcasts on my iPad or you know on other devices but I do want to make sure I get in that self-care because self-care is so important you need to take some time if you need to write in smaller sessions like say you get 500 words in the morning, another thousand at night. That's okay. Splitting up writing sessions is good. Doing writing sprints with friends, doing them on social media, on YouTube, 
whether you stream or not or watch other people's streams and write in or you can do your own writing sprints and i like those because it's kind of like it's not a, the exact pomodoro method but it is very similar because i found that i like those because i've been on twitter doing writing sprints through by following at writing sprinter on twitter and they will do start with a 10 minute warm up it's sprint on for so many minutes off for 10. so you get a, a, a like a 10 minute a 20 minute a 15 minute a 30 minute 30 minute is the most and i've and i've seen two 30 minute sprints and then they'll you know tweet halfway between but i'm not even watching that i'm busy writing so i see that after the fact and then i do my word count but you get those sprints and the race against the clock is what makes it fun number one number two it pushes those words forward it it builds my momentum and so it's kind of like the pomodoro method and i haven't i don't use it with my, my professional writing but when i'm doing novel writing and i'm especially when i'm in the, that was round that round of edits trying to get the draft finished that race against the clock helps me reach my goals so whatever it takes for you to get your writing goals done go for it and if you haven't signed up for NaNoWriMo, you're kind of wondering about it, I will leave the link to the NaNoWriMo website along with my username on in the show notes. So that way, if you want to, if you have signed up and you want to be a buddy and, and you want to send me a, um, an invitation to be a buddy, we can do that. We can message back and forth. Um, we can hold each other accountable. And if you also want, um, and I would certainly accept your invitation, and we can do writing sprints together. I won't do them on the podcast because that would be dead air, and I don't want to have that much, you know, airtime on the podcast for people listening. But if you'd like for me to stream, like to join me on an afternoon stream, let me know, and I will, you know, set that up and like and share that out so that we can all write together. And talk about our process. So this is my bit of writing encouragement for you. Happy writing. And let's finish out Preptober and kick off NaNoWriMo with, I don't want to say with a bang, but let's, let's go and kick off NaNoWriMo with a good writing session. Let's do that because I don't want to kick it off with a bang because a bang just, you know, or unless you want to picture the bang of the starting gun, <laughs> like they do in the Olympics. If you want to picture that, go right ahead. Go for it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to dissuade you. But anyway, let's finish out Preptober, celebrate Halloween, and let's get some writing done. And have fun with it. Build a community, you know, join the forums, join writing groups, create your own, whatever you want to do. Build community and have fun. If you don't reach 50,000 words by the end of November, that's okay because you're still a winner. You're still a winner because however many words you got is more words than you had when you started out. And probably more words than you had than you would have had when you're not doing an event like this. So I look forward to it. I've been doing the NaNoWriMo for since, you know, 2014. I look forward to doing this kind of thing. And I will be doing weekly updates along the way, giving you word count goals, which will change progress. And I'm hoping I can have some of my friends on the podcast to talk about their NaNoWriMo goals and processes. And there will be an interview on the 16th. Um, there is, I have a guest who's launching a book on the 29th. So she will be talking about her book launch and the book that she's written and her process as well. So you have that to look forward to. Like I said, I'll be updating you on a weekly basis with my NaNoWriMo stuff. And maybe along the way, we might do a few, I might, you know, share some pep talks as well. So, and this is my Preptober pep talk for you guys. So, I hope you guys have a blessed day, a blessed week. Happy NaNoWriMo kickoff. Happy Preptober. Happy writing. And let's have some fun this month, this next month. So, if I don't talk to you again before the week is out, I will see you on Sunday on the NaNoWriMo kickoff. Have a blessed one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.